Hey guys, okay, I'm back. And I'm here to talk to you tonight about sleep. How many of you can say you've had trouble going to sleep or staying asleep or anything to do with sleep? Well, I certainly have, and um, I would suppose you have too. Most people have. And so this is, or maybe someone you know has had trouble with sleep. Um, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about sleep today and what we can do to help us sleep better. So first of all, um, we know people talk about melatonin. Melatonin is an, a hormone um, that regulates sleep and your circadian rhythm. And so we need that in order for us to sleep right and to sleep well. And it's also an, act, an antioxidant, which helps to reduce stress and helps us to focus. So both of those things are really important. Like the very fact that it has those qualities is super important for us to have that in order to sleep. So where can we get this melatonin? Some people like to buy it, you know, at the store, they can buy melatonin and you can do that. Um, but on the other hand, if you have too much of the melatonin that you like buy off the shelf, then you can kind of get depressed a little bit. It can kind of bring your mood down um, if you have too much. And of course, too much for one person might not be too much for another. It's kind of, it might be tricky to figure that out. So you might just want to eat food that has melatonin in it. So let's look at this real quick. Basically, um, some different foods that have melatonin in it would be like tart cherries. So you can get tart cherry juice or buy the tart cherries or however you want to do that. You can also take the capsules of that and tart cherries is something that really, I mean, it's good for so much, um, so many things. And it's also very, um, it's a full, like a whole food. So you don't have to worry so much about like getting too much of it. Um, but you can get, use that. Um, also nuts like walnuts and almonds. Good for, um, you know, it has melatonin in it. Um, rice does, goji berries, blueberries. So if you want to have like a snack in the evening before you go to bed and you want something that will help you sleep better, blueberries are a good option. I know myself, I love the frozen blueberries that have thawed out. So I'll buy like a bag of frozen blueberries somewhere and then I'll go home and I'll like take a bowl of blueberries out and I'll let it thaw out while I eat my supper. And then I'll have my blueberries as a, like a dessert or a bedtime snack. And I love that. And I, I just, I love it so much. They're so sweet and delicious and they have melatonin in them. And in fact, they have 387 nanograms per gram of melatonin. And bananas, great bedtime snack. It has melatonin in it. Um, mushrooms do, tomatoes do, um, even fish does. If you like to eat fish, that does too. Um, and then um, melatonin, it can improve your sleep and your eye health. And also it can help improve seasonal depression and HGH levels and GERD symptoms. I mean, it, it has a lot of really good benefits to have you know, melatonin in your diet somehow. And um, it also is, has an anti-inflammatory effect as well. Um, it's produced by the pine, um, pineal gland in your brain. So that's where it comes from when your body produces it. Um, and um, so, yeah, that's um, about melatonin there. So now I wanna to talk to you a little bit about lycopene because lycopene is another um, chemical that um, is really awesome. It's another antioxidant that's awesome to help you sleep. Um, it's a um, carotenoid. So basically it gets its color from, um, you know, it, the, it gives it gives food its um, the colors that, that the food has. Like if the food is like kind of a little bit pink or a little bit red, um, that is um, from the lycopene. So you might have like say tomatoes. So we have tomatoes that has lycopene in it and tomatoes also have melatonin. So that's really cool. Um, watermelons, sweet red peppers, grapefruits, sweet potatoes, squashes, things like that. And the thing about like listing so many foods is sometimes it might be hard to get certain kinds of food where you're at or some might be more expensive than others. And sometimes people can't eat all the same foods. So they may be all good foods, but not everyone can all eat the same kind of good foods. They might have bad effects on them. They might be um, allergic to some, uh, some people can't eat tomatoes. Um, and there's different, different kinds of foods that some people can't eat. So that's why it's nice to have a lot of options to get like melatonin or lycopene from. Um, but lycopene is linked to heart health and also sunburn prevention 
and protection against certain types of cancers, especially um, bone, lung, and prostate cancer. So it helps to protect against those um, and, you know, support the body in dealing with, you know, not getting those cancers. Um, also, it's good for our oral health and, of course, bone health, um, blood pressure, and high cholesterol. It helps support your body in preventing you from having those problems um, and also giving you the health that you need, like orally and um, and bone-wise and that kind of thing. And um, also, it's noted that the lack of lycopene is connected with sleep troubles. So 